And so I'm sitting in the back of the bus and the manager comes back and he says, Coach Wooden wants you to come up and sit with him. I'm going to go up and sit with Coach. I'm going to get so much material for the game on Monday night. Man, I'm ready. I've got my uh, pen and pad out. I'm really good. So I sit down and Coach says, uh, Enberg, you like poetry? What am I going to say? <laughs> oh, yeah, Coach. He said, Edna St. Vincent Millay? Oh, one of my favorites. And, uh, and, and he, he proceeds to be quoting some of his favorite Malay poems and then talks about it, writing his own poetry. Well, we finally get to Pullman, well, hold Washington. Up. What, are, what are you thinking during this time? I'm thinking Dude, maybe. I, ha- I want to talk basketball. Yeah, of course, but I'm, I, I'm not going to interrupt the wizard. I mean, I'm not going to. And, and we finally get to, to Pullman, and he hasn't mentioned the word basketball in the whole, whole trip. And that, that's the kind of man. He, he's the greatest man, other than my own father, the greatest man I've ever met and known. And, and when he, uh, we were all rooting for him to reach 100 and he missed by about three months. And I saw him a couple of months before he died, and he was in good form, uh, fine fettle that day, went to his apartment, apartment he's been living in in Sherman Oaks for, I mean, it's, it's just a little condo for 40 some years, still has love letters to his wife on the pillow of the bed that they mm-hmm. shared. Um, and this particular day, he loved baseball. In fact, it was his favorite sport. A lot of people don't know that the Pittsburgh Pirates offered John Wooden the managerial job in the middle of his UCLA career, and of course he didn't take that. So we're, we're talking baseball the whole time. And we started to argue about our all-time left-handed hitting outfield. Well, Ted Williams, of course, is my guy, and Stan Musial was his favorite. And I think we got to put Babe Ruth in there someplace, right? And, and so we argued back and forth about the others. And we had a wonderful time talking baseball and the fact that he played shortstop as a kid and tried out with the Cincinnati Reds. And when it was all over and he, he was tiring, we'd been there an hour and a half, two hours, and said, Coach, thank you, love you. And he says, he called me over, pointed at his forehead. I kissed him on the forehead and, and left. And, and then when I got outside, I said, I, I feel like I just kissed a god. He was that kind of man. And so, so such a powerful influence on everyone he ever coached. And if you don't believe that, just call Bill Walton tonight. You'll find out. Yeah.